Hello everyone, thought I'd show you another video on um, how to get rid of sucky Windows 8 off your laptop. Um, I've had a real headache with this trying to get back to Windows 7. I finally figured out and thought I'd make a quick video to show you how to do it. I'm logging into Windows 8 and I need to get into the BIOS to um, basically set it up so that I can now put Windows 7 on and get rid of this god awful operating system. Um, it's not obvious how you get into that. I've tried going into the uh, BIOS, I've hit my F12, F2 key, I've held it down, held delete, it just will not let me go in. So what you need to do is um, go to your desktop here. Yeah. When you're on your desktop, take your mouse to the top right hand corner and just hold it in that corner, this little sidebar appears. Um, go down to the settings cog. At the bottom you've got change PC settings, click on that. Now you go into general. Then on the right hand screen, uh, roll down to the very bottom and you've got advanced startup. To restart now, and it does this little please wait thingy. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use a device here, yeah, middle one, and then we're going to do DVD CD ROM EFI. Now make sure that your Windows 7 disk is not in, um, and make sure that I normally make sure the door and the drive is actually ejected. So I've actually got mine sticking out at the moment so that there's no chance it's going to beat from that at all. Sorry about the wobbly camera, I'm trying to do this my iPad on my stomach. Okay, so I click on that and you can have a look at me. Hi everyone. Wait for that to boot and it says there's no um, CD in the boot drive which is fine, just click OK and we're now heading into the BIOS now. So if I go down to enter setup might be a little bit different than your screen. Now I'm in the BIOS. Well, a couple of things you want to do here. Uh, first thing is go to your boot order and make sure your uh, disk drive's at the top. Mine's an optical disk drive. Um, so I've got that as the first boot option. Okay. Then you go into advanced. Now mine's in here. You might have to dig around for yours, but basically what you're looking for, if I go system configuration, you're looking for boot mode. Now this e UEFI boot is what takes you straight into Windows 8 every time you power up. If you want to go back to the more traditional powering up, you have to go into CSM boot. So if you look for anywhere that's CSM and make sure that's enabled, yeah, and then you're good to go. So I'm going to save my settings. Excuse me a sec. F10. Yep. I'll stick my disk in now. Now you'll get the more traditional Windows boot up where all the white text comes down the screen. Another thing I found when I didn't have CSM boot enabled, um, when the Windows uh, CD started installing, it would stick on the Windows startup screen and just sit there chugging away and it wouldn't go any further. That also is because of the UEFI option. Um, so you need to make sure it's in CSM and then your laptops like the old days where you can just go ahead and set a Windows in the normal fashion. So, yep, here it goes. Happy as can be. Oops. And that's it. It should work fine for you. If uh, you've got any problems, comment on the video and I'll see what I can do to help you. Cheers, Sam. Bye.